Hello again. This time we're going to learn how we can update uh, tables and modify existing data. Uh, sometimes some situations arise when uh, one needs to actually update an already existing table or some modify some data inside it. If you have watched the previous videos, I remember I made a mistake and when I added uh, uh, some teams to the, to the teams table, I added uh, another team with an already existing captain name with exactly the same cap captain name and that was a mistake we took advantage of it and uh, when we learned about the select statement and now we can take ad advantage of it and modify that uh, record and change the uh, team captain's name now the syntax for the update statement looks like this you have update which is a keyword table name and then you set which field to the new value yes you can set more than one field at the same time and then using the where clause you can specify which record you exactly want to uh, uh, modify or update notice the where clause I've placed it in square brackets to mention or to just to uh, 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 show that it's actually optional now again the syntax is update table name set and then field name a new value separated comma list of field names and values and the new values using the where clause if you want now let's just let's just connect again to our uh, mysql server and then if we use the uh, teams database that we created before and then uh, for the teams table, if I show everything from the teams table, I'm sorry, you can you can do, just select star from teams table. These are my teams, and you notice that uh, I added Londoners before with with captain name Ronnie Shelby, and then Oxbridge United again. They they have the same exact captain name. That was a mistake, as I said before we used it in some examples and now we can use it for the update uh, statement and our new update statement will look like this so notice we're trying to uh, update Oxford United so what I can do is I can say update update teams table set captain name equals Alan Matthews that value is in quotation mark is because it's actually a string yeah remember the var char it's actually a string that's why in captain value if I want to for example update an integer value I just put the integer value say 2 or example yes I hope that makes sense or the date again the date I can put it in, in single quotations uh, and it should work fine where team name equals Oxford United again the team name is a uh, string that's why I'm putting in quotation marks I can actually let me use team ID so I can try to use integer Team ID, actually, United is actually six here. So I can say Team ID equals six. Of course, without forgetting my lovely semicolon, and then I can just execute that. Hold on. I'm sorry, not captain name. The field is called team captain. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But these things are useful so we can take advantage of them so yeah that it's showing an error here because my SQL could not know or couldn't find a column called captain name in my in my teams table yeah the right name is team captain so I corrected it that should work fine and if you notice it's telling me now that there was actually a change if I show the data now this value should be Alan Matthews and there you go Alan Matthews yes uh, another one maybe if you want to change some result in the results table uh, we can for example update results table set result type equal loss with result ID equals uh, 3 so let's have a look at the results table and then we should be able to update it if you want result ID is number 3 it was a draw we can change it to loss if you want using that remember the syntax with the, with the semicolon, semicolon and because result, result ID is integer I'm saying equals 3 if it was a, a string value I can use the quotations as I'm doing here I hope that makes sense and we can execute that 
it's telling me again you can see the report there that um, one row was, a, was was changed again if I show the values now uh, the result was there you know ID result result ID 3 was a draw and now it's a loss nice and easy hope that makes sense thanks for watching and I'll see you next time